The Forge? Really? What's up, guys? Mike, MTG Jedi, and yeah, we unlocked the Forge. So, um, craft the artifacts you need, get exclusive artifact sets, fine tune your crafts. But, um, you know, I just, I actually just really love the picture that they did here. I just think that that's super cool. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. Maybe we'll use that for a future thumbnail or something. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go to the forge and see what it has to say. Um, you unlock the forge at level 30, which we just hit. Um, nope, we can't click anywhere else. Okay, that's fine. So we actually have some core hammers. I wonder if they give you those for free. I know I've won a couple. Deflection. I mean, I definitely didn't win all of this from Faction Wars. What about these? Zero, 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 zero from the Doom Tower. Okay. Well, um, I think that the Forge is one of the most important things a new player can have access to. And once you hit level 30, then you're going to be able to craft some of this gear. So let's see. We have a couple rank charms and rarity charms. We have no other kind of charms, but um, Perception is really great. I've been using it on a ton of champions on my main account. So let's go ahead and craft some gear. And sadly, we get flat attack. So that's going to be a sell. Um, but this is five or six star gear at level 30 automatically. And then we're going to have the ability to craft some four or five star gear. So let's go. Let's see what we can get. HP crit damage accuracy. I mean, normally, no, that's not great. But yes, we're going to keep that. Six star legendary with speed defense percentage resistance is okay. I mean, this is literally the best piece of gear on my entire account right now. I wow, wow, guys, let's go ahead and keep going. Let's, um, I think we're gonna save our charms though. Um, but let's let's craft some other pieces. This is crazy. See, even this right here, that's perfectly good for, for my account right now. I mean, that's five-star gear with two good stats. What an awesome upgrade to the game. I mean, even this, this is on par with the other gear that's on my account right now. I don't want to use it, but a lot of times early game, you do have to use four-star gear. This is pretty bad. We have a couple more pieces we can craft here, and then we will roll that up. Flat HP boots is an auto sell despite good substats. One last piece, five star, a four star, crit rate, crit damage. I mean, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Resilience, five to six star gear. Let's put those charms back in here. Let's see if we can get a couple other good pieces. Look at that. Speed 6 HP percentage. Heck yes. Please, thank you. Can I have some more? <laughs> um, and again, same kind of... Oh, man. But those are both shields? That's unfortunate. Otherwise, we would, we would have a nice set there. This set right here, Resilience, gets a bad rep. But I've actually used it on a bunch of champions on my account and for other account takeovers. Oh, flat attack. I'm going to think about keeping it and leveling it to 12, but it's really not good. But those substats are near perfect. Oof. Man, if we could just change that to attack percentage or literally any usable stat. All right, let's see what we got with our four and five star gear. We can craft eight pieces. 
That's a lot of resources to start. Well, look at that shield. Oh, I must go click sell. That was close. And it's so cheap, too. Attack percentage is a, is a terrible gloves. I just, I don't, mm, no, I just, we don't want that. No, nobody wants attack percentage. Don't use attack percentage. It's bad. Now here, crit rate. That's good with defense and accuracy. Absolutely. And we're already to a point where, you know, we're being a little bit picky about the gear we're using. And we're not even finished with the first week yet. So um, after we craft some gear, mm, that's a probably not. After we craft this gear, we'll give you a little uh, update on the account. Take you through a couple places. And uh, see what's going on, you know? What are we doing? Now this one is just not good enough. The flat defense four star. Last one. Hmm. I'm going to leave it for now, but that's a probably no. Um, and what do we have? Swift parry as well. Oh, we ran out. That's fine. I actually, I would rather use it on perception than swift parry, but we will, we'll get that eventually. Do we have it here? We could craft. Hmm. It costs 20. So we'd be able to craft three. Uh, what to do, what to do. Oh, and then we could craft some deflection. I actually think that it's right to do this. Well, I could be wrong. Maybe we should be saving the Swift Parry for later on in the game. But I think just the opportunity to get um, not even a full set of Swift Parry, but like, just like, ugh, ugh. just like some usable pieces of gear. Let's put this in here for the last one. Attack percentage again. No, that's a no. Maybe this was wrong, guys. Maybe this was wrong, but we're we're in it. We're in it now, so we're going to do it. I'm going to use our, our rarity charms. We'll get a lot more of those. I mean, if we get one accuracy, okay, with defense, okay, that's usable. Definitely usable. Ideally, we're looking for five-star gear here. Helmet with HP percentage and resistance. That's probably a no-go. Probably a no-go. But, you know, it's whatever. We actually still have some core hammers left. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about, okay? HP, defense, oh, crit damage, not crit rate. I mean, that's probably still good enough. Last one. Hmm. It does have speed. We got literally all four-star gear from that. That is super unfortunate. <laughs> Level 30 pack. If I was spending money on the game, that's actually good. Good-ish. Yeah. But, um, you know, obviously free to play. Progression rewards, though. Claim those. Now I gotta decide what I'm doing with those gems. I would like to buy masteries for Lord Champfort. But I don't know. I kind of want to buy ancient shards. So we will see. We will see. Um, it'll be really helpful. I mean, he's gonna definitely want War Master because we're gonna use him in Clan Boss as our decrease attack champion for a long time, guys, a long time. Okay, so I've been busting out a lot of videos on this account. I've been having an absolute blast playing on this account. I'm kind of behind on my main account, which like I'm one of the top hitters in our clan boss. So like, <laughs> but I've been just enjoying myself on this account so much. I wasn't even planning on doing this video, but then we hit level 30 and we unlocked the forge. So obviously we need to check that out. So first things first, we want to see that new gear that we just got and we want to roll a couple pieces. We want to roll this crazy shield. We're going to put that to 12. Let's just go to eight for now. 
Number one, it takes a long time to roll the gear. And number two, we want to hit speed. Speed? No, we got defense. That's okay. I mean, if we hit speed 12, this will literally be the fastest piece of gear on our account with speed 12, okay? And, like, perception is super good because it's hard to get accuracy on your champions early in the game. So, we would have loved to have... What the heck? Ooh, we hit flat HP. Okay, we're going to go to 12 and see if we can hit speed. But even with, like, I would love to put this on War Maiden. That's who I would love to put this on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. So we'll go check and see if we can fit this on her. Right after this, when we hit speed, right? Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to hold that N out any longer. Wow, we're really churning through gear, churning through silver to level this up. But, I mean, as I said, this is like the best piece of gear on my entire account. Yes! We did it, and we got a 6. All right, let's go. We might level that up to 16. We have accuracy as a substat there. Crit rate and speed. Let's see if we can hit like double hit accuracy on this one. I'm not going to spend the whole video just leveling up gear, but obviously we need to see on a couple pieces. Accuracy, one more time. Let's go. One more time. One more time. And get it. Let's go. All right. You really want to know. You want to know what happens when it goes to 12. You know you want to know. Upgrading your epic artifacts to 12 is great. It gives you so much information. But you got to be careful about your silver, especially early game. Um, once you get a little bit more established, you know, it's fine to upgrade a lot of artifacts to 12. Especially during an artifact enhancement event, which I hope is still going on. Okay, we hit flat HP, but we did get to 27 accuracy. <laughs> Um, and then we will, we want to know that one for sure. All right. Um, we'll do this one as well. We'll see what we can hit here on this shield. Obviously we're hoping for speed again and HP. This would be, ugh, this still very good shield would be very good for Lord champ for currently I have him in just speed gear, but, um, putting speed and HP percentage. I mean, that's still perfectly good. And then even, whatever we hit for the next one is still fine. So you can see here we got some really good pieces. And we sold some as well. That's a lot of good gear to start out with. Okay, so we still have our Lord Chamford at 50. We have a couple other 40s that we're going to rank up. Um, one, two, three are going to all be chickens once we rank those up for Lord Chamford. Um, we're definitely going to keep Gallic. But I don't know how far we're going to rank him up. We're working on War Maiden. And that's a shame because she has this speed shield. But she definitely wants that shield that we just rolled up for sure. Speed 12. And she's going to lower her speed there. But we really need some more accuracy. So let's put that on her. And then what other piece would we want? This one has good accuracy. This one has a little bit. It's probably this one, but our speed is not high enough. I don't know, I'm gonna need to play around with this. I might end up putting that shield back on her for now. I can't get good chests and gauntlets. I keep getting good top row stuff. And that's making it very hard to gear champions. So one, one you know, pro tip here. You just got to be patient, right? You'll eventually get more gear with which you can use to rank up your champions. I think I'm going to put some time into Outlaw Monk because I really need a Poisoner. And um, he has a you know, chance to get an extra turn on his A1, but it's his A2 that places two poisons, okay? And that can get on a three-turn cooldown. He only needs five books, a.k.a. five copies of himself. And so we will try to, like, you know, rank up his skills. But I think ranking him up to five might be a good idea 
because um, he can place those poisons. So we'll see. Um, I might start doing that now, but uh, we'll see what happens this weekend. This weekend we have, uh, what just happened? Level 30 wildcard monthly mini mix. Regular pack. I claimed this already for the day. That's very odd. I've been playing on this account. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if you have to be level 30 to get these. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Kind of dumb that it didn't give that to us right before <laughs> we crafted all this gear. But that's all right. That's all right. So um, what are our next goals? Okay, I've been... I've been trying to fight my way through the missions. Currently, my next goal is Dragon's Lair, but I've been taking a quick break from the missions in order to run some dungeons. Um, I'm trying really hard to ascend Lord Chamfort to three stars, and legendaries take a lot of resources. So we are pretty well established in our missions. We're pretty well established in our challenges. Now we're to a point with our challenges where, you know, we're starting to slow down. I have to wait till these things unlock. Probably beating the Spider's Den Stage 4 is going to take a while. All of these ones are going to take a little bit longer. And then um, as far as campaign, I have beaten the majority of hard, but I need to finish the last couple stars, and I think Ascending Lord Chamfort will do a good job of that. If not, then we might have to, you know, run some stages and level some champions up to get our first six star. And I think I'm going to have it be Lord Chamfort because that's cool and interesting to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mike, MTG Jedi. The Forge is super important. Don't, don't forget about it. It's helpful on every account, not just this one, every account. So you guys have yourselves a great day. Um, come hang out on Twitch and, um, you know, for the live stream. And if not, you know, watch another video. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over this shard border instead of the top 10. And that way it will get some hype for this weekend to open some shards. See you guys later.